Hello and welcome to Healing from Within. I am your host, Cheryl Glick, author of The Living Spirit, Answers for Healing and Infinite Love, which shares stories of spiritual awakenings, spiritual communication, healing energies, and the way to understand metaphysics for a clearer view of who we are and how we can work with our own energies for an improved life condition. Today I welcome Ellen McDonough, who, like most of the authors and healers who have been on the show, have searched for ways to explore energy and utilize it for maximum potential for healing and for personal growth. Hello, Ellen, and thank you for joining us on Healing from Within. Hi, Cheryl. It's good to be here. Great. Ellen, as you may well know from your friend Rizwan Burke, who has been a guest several times on the show and is the author of his newest book, Treasure Hunt, he may have explained to you, uh, my guests and I share intimate stories and insights into the seen and unseen worlds of life and creative potential in the hopes of utilizing knowledge of who we are and what life is all about in ways that can provide healing, health, and a greater love for ourselves, others, and our life force. For our listeners who wish to learn more about exploring the mysteries of quantum physics, business, and life, go to my website, CherylGlick.com, and listen to the show Rizwan and I shared. You can go to the September 2018 Special Editions. In today's episode of Healing from Within, Ellen McDonough, an artist and creator of Pure Light, which is Reiki-infused music for relaxation and meditation, but further enhanced with frequencies to attract abundance, revitalize the body, attract a soulmate perhaps, release limiting beliefs, clear dark energy, and so much more. We'll discuss a new technology called frequency-infused audios, also called energy transmissions, in which audios are encoded with high spiritual frequencies and pure intentions to shift or create virtually anything in life. We may find that this is the latest in consciousness technology and the beginning of a new trend adopted by some of the world's top energy healers. Ellen, I always love to ask my guests because I get such amazing responses to think back to their childhood and remember a person, place, or event, or maybe a dream, or some thought that was important to them and may have been a key to show us the lifestyle they would engage in as an adult. So just think back for a minute to the kid or young adult you were. Well, that's easy. <laughs> um, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an artist, and um, I channel images of Atlantis and other star systems and high spiritual realms. And um, what's always motivated me is this, this uh, awareness, this knowing that this 3D reality is illusion, and there's just so much magic and possibility beyond the, you know, what we call everyday life, which just <laughs> kind of hammers in that we're separate and limited and powerless. And the truth is we're infinite beings with unlimited potential. So and there are so many, there's yeah, magic so as there's a so many soul, frequencies. Yeah. As a soul, as a young child, you were aware of the beauty of these other dimensions and life forms. You saw it or you felt it or you dreamed it. How exactly did you experience it? It was just always a knowing that it's like everyone is programmed, programmed to uh, be, to think the same and act the same and conform, and and it's just it's like oh boy, this is not home. <laughs> that didn't sit well with you. So <laughs> that didn't sit so, well with so you, it, right? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> so it's I just always been my passion to bring light and higher frequencies to the planet, you know, through my work through, you know, Pure Light Audio, which we'll be talking about, and just to help others remember their light, because this reality, everything, you know, our five senses pick up is pretty much everything in it. It's just intense on keeping us in the dark. 
and it's it's just illusion. There's just so much magic and high frequencies around us. That it's Absolutely. You know, mm-hmm. this, what you're saying brings me back to when I was about three years old and my mother took a picture of me lying on the grass in the Catskill Mountains. And I was looking up and I was saying, why did you drop me here? <laughs> because, <laughs> because like you, it was hard to understand what we were seeing yes. and hearing and observing and feeling because we knew yes. we were so much more and were being contained in this body that didn't allow us to jump and fly and be and expand. And yeah, so I, I very exactly. much understand what you're, <laughs> what you're saying. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> so let's fast forward and let's hear how you became interested or aware of frequency-infused audios and how they have helped you in many ways? Well, it all started around the late 2000s where it was like, I don't know, 2009-ish through the 20-teens where I just suffered from a, a seemingly endless list of very bizarre symptoms that nobody could explain. And I saw every health practitioner imaginable and all I got were baffled looks. <laughs> the only thing anyone could ever tell me was that my adrenal glands were worn out, which I already mm, knew. Mm. But this just dragged on. It was so frustrating. And um, previously, I was someone who had tons of energy. I'm a runner and a weight trainer and a world traveler. And I was just used to having this, you know, high energy, high caliber life. But suddenly, I, I, during these years, I, I couldn't do anything really, just lay on the couch and so anyway, it was just very, very dark well, and depressing, and I had many dark nights of the soul. It was, you know, yeah. really bad. Well, you <laughs> so, said your adrenal glands were affected. Of course, they would be because uh, you are yeah. you are empathic and very sensitive yes. to energy, the energy of people and places and emotions. Yes. And uh, sensitives like us have got to learn how to uh, protect and be with other people and in environments that are good for us. And until we learn that, we do struggle with many types of seemingly health issues. And the medical profession, unfortunately or fortunately, because eventually we find what we need in our own way, uh, don't address the energy system or chakra systems of our body and how much uh, we are being affected uh, by the reality exactly. of physical life. So. That's what you were exactly. experiencing. And yeah. Me that too. was my own healing journey because, you know, as I was to, to, you know, realize what was causing my symptoms was energetic, really. Yes. But anyway, um, during these years, you know, I could just lay, I just laid around the couch and I became aware, I started hearing about audios infused with healing frequencies because I listened to, um, you know, spiritual alternative radio and telesummits and, so I thought, well, I might as well try them. I've tried everything else. And when I started listening, the results were pretty amazing. It felt, for a lot of them, it felt like I was being blasted with white light. And then mm. anything that didn't match that frequency came up to be released. So I had to do some detoxing. It wasn't always easy. I'd always eaten clean, but so the detoxing for me was uh, emotional. Like I just became aware of belief patterns I was holding or, you know, so much unresolved trauma, you know, so I'd have, you know, memories coming up and, and just, I really had to do a lot of inner work, but the audios helped me so much to, I just identify where the energy was so locked up and knotted up in my field and what the underlying belief patterns were. And they also helped me to shift these belief patterns and these perceptions. So you know, it, it was just, it was just like miraculous. It was such a godsend for me. And then other audios, I just would loop at night. I would just play them on automatic repeat, uh, you know, muted. And then I'd wake up the next morning feeling so much better, like some dark energy had gotten released. And as you touched on, you know, yes, I am extremely empathic. So I'm fairly certain whatever got released didn't even belong to me to begin with. So that was nice. It was like no detoxing. You it know, just, it's you know, very, I would just play yeah. them. Yeah, you would play yeah. them, and you'd and, and be then, in a state of quiet, and it would regenerate and release for, at the cellular level. It uh, would release. It would release whatever wasn't mine. Right. You know? And then other audios, 
they would listen and they would just put me in a blissful state, which really meant everything to me in those dark days. But anyway, gradually over time, my symptoms faded one by one and ultimately vanished. And, um, and, and even more than that, I found myself becoming more intuitive and life became more synchronistic. Because what these audios do, all of them, is that they raise your vibration and mm-hmm. life just come, you know, it's like more in flow. And, uh, you know, one day I was creating playlists with my frequency infused audio. So I own literally hundreds of them. And it occurred to me, it would be so nice to have all of these in one central location, quote unquote, where people could just browse categories and search. And then that's where I got the idea for this app, Pure Light Audio. And also I, I was well aware, many haven't even heard of this concept. So the market is kind of fragmented and, um, you know, there are only a number of healers who create these kind of audios. So um, then it's also a way to help broadcast healing frequencies because there are a lot of dark energies on the planet. So at least the app is a way to help broadcast healing frequencies. And I can talk more about that in a second. Well, over the years, uh, as my work has progressed and as a medium and energy practitioner, uh, I can sense energies within people and in places and one day, long ago, I was in the car with a massage therapist, and he started to play some music, and I started to feel very uncomfortable, physically very uncomfortable. Now, Nikola Tesla wrote, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms mm-hmm. of energy, frequency, and vibration. Well, this young, yes. this young man... Uh, was very complicated and his own energy was unbalanced and he was listening to energy that fed his you know imbalance but for me being in a contained space like a car which is a close you know area to be with someone and if you're not in sync with their energy it can be very uncomfortable so these type of experiences alert us to how we are affected by other people and places and sounds and music mm-hmm. and na- yeah. nature and, 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 and the reality of our thinking because so much of our thinking is just a program given to us by other people, but it's not the reality yeah. of our own soul needs, which once we delve into this understanding of energy and frequency and vibration, uh, we become more comfortable within ourselves and know what's better for us. Now, how can frequencies shift reality? That's a good question. Well, I physicality is illusion uh, you know even mainstream science is agreeing to that that everything is comprised of vibration energy and frequency and it, you know and it's not just the physical world it's every thought every emotion every belief every intention also has its own unique energy signature yes. and um through yeah and and through intention um you know dr richard bartlett called called it patterns of light and information but through intention these patterns of light and information can be imprinted and onto and affect any physical object just like dr mazuro emoto proved in his his experiments with water crystals that if you project an emotion or an intention onto water it actually changes the crystal so Everything yes, I, I love that. I have, I have his books. I know. So if you say a positive yeah. expression, a loving expression, uh, the, the, the uh, how can we say, the imprints of the water crystals will be beautiful, artistic, and, yeah. and, and functional. And if you say a negative or hateful word, and, or you yeah. put that word under the water, the, the, the water will look like cancerous growths and be very disruptive. Yeah, it, it is a, right. it is amazing. So we can actually see yeah. how words and thoughts and actions affect water, and that means it affects us too, physically and emotionally oh, and spiritually. We are, well, we are vi- we are vibrational beings, really. Right. Um, so of course, <laughs> every word, yes. every thought, every emotion, everything. We're constantly. I think I thought. I don't know who said this, but it's like you know, life is a symphony of frequencies. 
Yes, the universe We're doesn't. We're constantly being affected. Yeah, you you said the universe doesn't speak English; it speaks frequency. Yeah. So so therefore, like yes, you were absolutely. saying before, all our thoughts and emotions are energy. So when we are engaging yeah. in thoughts and emotions that enhance our state of soul being and wisdom, we have opportunities to create a more purposeful and prosperous life. In my book, The Living Spirit, I wrote in regards to this, we must realize that each person perceives the world according to his or her own life experiences, both present and past. Therefore, we will never fully understand another's behavior or their reasons for doing things differently than we do. This realization is the key to allowing and accepting everything and everyone without judgment, anxiety, fear, pain, anger, or hate. It is, you will find, the only way for us to experience true contentment while we are on this three-dimensional plane. So everything we're learning is a way to release all negativity so we can remember who we are as, as you said, spiritual beings having this physical life. Right? Yes, absolutely. So let's go on to what are the audios like? I've listened to. Uh, I've gone right. to. I've gone to the the link. I have listened to the music. You have some music that can be downloaded loaded for free, and others that can be purchased. So I have listened to them. Very lovely. What I listened to was yeah. was very lovely. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, um, just uh, just as a quick overview before I go into the audios, um, I just want to describe the app just quickly. Um, it's called Pure Light Audio, purelightaudio.com, and it is a free app. It's available for both Android and iOS, and we have about 400 audios in a variety of categories for you know improving health, looking and feeling younger, better sleep evolving consciousness i mean i go on and on and we've got about 30 free audios so there's you know no risk (laughs) free app and about 30 free audios so the audios themselves they are all different just because each healer has their own unique healing style healing method we've got about almost 30 um healers on the app so so all the the audios are different so some audios are talking so it's sort of like a guided meditation, but the healer is actually transmitting frequencies. And as you listen actively, you direct the energy where you want it to go. Other audios have soft music. Others have light language. Others have voice toning where it's sound healing, but instead of a musical instrument, the healer is using their voice in unique ways to transmit frequencies and light codes. And other audios are completely silent. Most, I would say, are a combination thereof, such as, maybe talking with periods of silence or light language with soft music. So they're all unique, which is why we have so many free audios. So users can just play around with them and see what they like. And then um, there are different ways to use them because these audios, because they're infused and encoded with such powerful frequencies, it's kind of like energy medicine. So each audio comes with instructions for downloading. So it's very important to follow the instructions, just like any supplement would come with instructions, these audios do. So some of the different ways to use them, um, some require active listening. Many, however, can just be played on a loop during the day or while sleeping. You can have the volume muted or lowered, and you can just bask in the high frequencies. A few you're not supposed to loop because the energy is so strong, you have to gradually build up to it. A few require headphones, vast majority do not. And then uh, we also have audio packages. So with audio packages, it may be like you listen to one audio for a week and then the next audio, et cetera, et cetera, because the energy is built. But what's really good to keep in mind is that whenever these audios are played, anything and anyone around you gets the benefit of these frequencies. So it's a great way to broadcast healing frequencies and uplift those around you. Like you could play an audio in a, like a crowded mall and potentially affect hundreds of people. Yes. So it's, Let me it's point really, out really something. Great way. Let me point out something that you said that's important. You said each one of the healers that is producing these audios or using their voice or their healing abilities is actually 
channeling this higher universal energy through this medium or modality of healing to to the people they're working with. Now, over the years, I have met and interviewed many vibrational music healers, and listeners may want to go to the shows expressing many of the thoughts you and I are talking about here. So years ago, I met a woman named Victoria. I don't know her last name. And uh, I was at a, a conference in Arizona, and I happened to go to a sound bowl healing event, and there were 12 people in a circle, and there was only one chair. And I, I just sat down in the one chair that was available to me, and something made me turn to the woman sitting to my right, because as an intuitive and sensing energy, I felt how quiet her energy was. And uh, later afterwards, uh, she said to me uh, that her music could be found on uh, victoriaslight.com, and she was working with Steven Spielberg to bring vibrational music to the public. Uh, But she said to me, and at the time, this is about 15 years ago, uh, that she was from another star system, and she was here to Mm -hmm. help the planet heal and bring from her healers and guides the the vibration through her work. Now, I have also met uh, Lucinda, also known as Bliss. I met her at the same event, and this was in 2010. And um, she was from England, and she walked into the room that was filled to capacity, and she was singing, and 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 the most exquisite sound and vibration of her voice actually connected to my soul and I just started to cry from the sheer beauty that I heard. So her voice and the other woman's vibrational music and then there was Dr. Joseph Gallenberg, author of Heaven is for Healing and uh, he his music was for grief healing and uh, his CD was called the ocean heart and uh, he can be heard on my website so there have just been so many people that I have met over the years and every time I listen to either their music their voice whatever it is they're working with I am deeply moved so for our listeners out there you really need to give this a chance music is beautiful in its own right, just like art and uh, theater, film, all serve to awaken the soul to the true potential we have to shine with light and goodness and love. Music and vibrations do this for us also. So let's go on to another question. What are the spiritual modalities or tools work alongside the use of frequency-infused audios to create a more balanced and healthy life? Sure. It comes down to your intention. You know, it all comes down to the frequencies you're holding in your own consciousness, really. And uh, different tools work for different people. Um, Since we're a little short on time, um, is it all right if I talk a little more about the audios and, you know, what people can expect from listening to them sure go on yeah um because people ask okay when i start using frequency infused audios what what is the experience going to be like for me and i'll just say everyone is different so some people get results quickly for others it may take some time to entrain to the new frequencies but eventually you do but a couple of things to keep in mind when playing the audios that First of all, shifts are not always felt in the conscious level. But that doesn't mean the frequencies aren't working on very subtle levels to shift your consciousness. Yes. Because they, they really, they, some of them are very, very subtle. And you, I admit for myself, as sensitive as I am, there's some audios that I don't feel anything. But then after, you know, days and weeks go by, I realize, oh, wow, I'm so much happier. I don't have that belief mm. pattern anymore. You know, they really, they really do, they are effective. Um, I would say, you know, generally speaking, the more sensitive and empathic you are, the more likely you are to feel the energy. But even if you don't, it doesn't mean the audio is not working. And then secondly, as I had mentioned, you know, you may experience detox symptoms like I did. 
and physical detox can be aches, pains, fatigue, et cetera. You know, you just have to go with it or you may need a lot of water. Um, emotional detox, you may feel moody or old memories might surface, belief patterns, et cetera. And if that happens, I would suggest just like don't listen to the audios for a few days and just kind of let this Take play a out. Break. Do a lot yeah. of journaling. Take a break. Do a lot of journaling. Take care of yourself. You know, eat well, eat organic, drink mm-hmm. fresh water. And and just know, like, don't worry. It's it's actually a good sign. I mean, it might you know it doesn't always feel good, but it's actually a good sign that these these darker energies are just coming up to be released. So it's actually good. And I would suggest for people, you know, when they download the app, Pure Light Audio, it's important to find a healer you resonate with, which is one of the reasons I ask the healers to include at least one free audio, because it's important for users to, you know, just play around with the free audios and see who they resonate with, because that that helps with the effectiveness of the energies. And, of course, follow instructions. <laughs> it's very important because it really is like energy medicine. So if it says don't loop, don't loop. You know, or if you can, you know, listen as much as you can, then then do so. Just bask well, in those energies. But follow the instructions. And and lastly, just be open minded because obviously, if you have a belief that won't work, then it, it won't work. But if you're just open minded and um, just keep the energies light, I always say positive change happens when the energies are light. So keep your attitude light and playful, and just have fun. I mean, it's a free app. Free audios. I mean, just have fun with the frequencies and see how your life shifts. Thank you. And, you know, some of the results that our listeners might want to know about uh, from the use of frequency-infused audios, as well as from energy healing sessions like uh, what I do with Reiki energy healing, uh, you may attract abundance. You may clear and align chakras and clear limiting beliefs. You can revitalize and rejuvenate the body and balance hormones. You can heal grief and mm-hmm. emotional pain, increase energy, strengthen your energy field, increase psychic ability, clear dark energy. But you know what? You won't experience all of this in one session or in one audio. It takes time. It's a process. You must be consistent with uh, wanting mm-hmm. to make those shifts. I just wanted our listeners to know just how much change yeah. is available to them if they're willing to invest the time in finding this new way of approaching uh, their health and well-being uh, through audio-infused uh, audios and energy healing. So I want to thank you, Ellen McDonough, who is the founder of Pure Light Audio, a mobile app that serves as the marketplace for frequency-infused audios and whose artwork is also imbued with light and high frequencies. You can go to purelightaudio.com or places Places of light.com okay yeah to become more familiar with the use of music and art for enhancing your spiritual awareness and growth in summarizing today's episode of healing from within we become aware of the messages and love from the universe that resonates in many gifted people who bring to life the eternal nature of this creative life force or source so we may begin to remember and reconnect to the many spiritual gifts and abilities that we as divine humans are blessed to have and to discover, use, and that leads us to higher consciousness, joy, peace, happiness, and healing. As citizens of the universe or children of a higher intelligence of eternal life, We would always be accompanied by teachers, loved ones, guides, and we will find the beauty of nature, music, art through children around us who who exhibit that beauty naturally, and positivity, for as they love us unconditionally, we learn to give love, release fear, and find our true potential. So actually, we might help the world to expand into heaven on earth. Surely knowing one life is but a drop in the ocean of eternity is comforting and uplifting and that we have the music of the universe to awaken us is empowering. Listen to the world, the music, the people, the sounds of water, laughter and joy and truly begin to know who you are. 
I am Cheryl Glick, host of Healing from Within, and I invite you to visit my website to listen to and read about authors and leaders, visionaries and spiritualists, scientists, educators, healers, psychologists, musicians, and artists share their insights and views of a world that is changing in relation to our growing understanding of metaphysics and our universal laws. Shows may also be heard on webtalkradio.net and dreamvision7radio.com. Thank you.